Good morning. How's it going? I made the coffee already, so I didn't turn my back on you. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to say a couple things that, um, and the first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Like, watching me, listening to me, liking my videos, subscribing to me, to my videos. Um, you know, I'm not really trying to like be like this huge, massive YouTube star. I'm just a person out here doing what I, the best I can, you know? So for us to connect in this way, and for you to come back and watch. And even if you don't comment or or like the video that you took a minute, I appreciate that. Like, I really appreciate that so much. <laughs> so much that I just spilled my coffee on my shirt. It's really fucking freezing today. It was like, I don't know, 48 when I woke up, I knew last night it was getting, it was getting cold. So I shut my windows and stuff and shut the door. And, uh, and I still have my new moon candle is still going. Um, <clears throat> so it was like a little more, I had like one little tiny flame. <laughs> but, um, I even was like, I even at one point last night was like a little bit hot. But when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my God so cold it's so cold I had to put pants on right away and my in my flannel I love this one um yeah so anyway because you know how I wanda and I wanda so um what's I gonna say yeah so I'm I'm like a regular person yeah <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um, I have creatively taken control of my situation. And, um, I feel really fucking good about, like, so many things. Like, so many fucking things. And I feel like if I had taken advice that was not necessarily specifically directed towards me, um, but if I had made certain moves that were encouraged at a certain point and had gone against my better judgment, I do believe that there is healing that would not have happened. And I do believe that there is like massively important, this is why I'm here kind of healing work happening right now. Um, or at least this is one of the reasons why I'm here. So I'm not going to let anybody else get me off my task because I know what I need to do. I, this I, this the greater I, the I that goes before me, the angel of God that goes before me, knows what I need to do and where I need to be, you know? And, um, and I'm tested, I'm tested so much. And, um, and I just gotta fucking stay true to myself, you know? Gotta stay true to my own nature. I really have to remember to stay true to my own nature. And that's another thing why, like, with these, you know, a lot of the astrology forecasts and stuff, it's like, okay, I understand. You know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, like you're, like, you know what you're talking about. And I can point to, like, at least four or five different people that I can say. Like, I mean, and there's more. But, I mean, I don't, I try not to watch too many. <laughs> I have to really, pay, I, I mean, I'm at the point now where it's just like starting to give me anxiety and making me feel like I can't necessarily trust myself because, um, 
these like hooks that get people watching you know it's like oh well now it's like all right, maybe like people are burnt out on the twin flame stuff. So let's start talking about like timelines and portals again. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about six months ago, that always happens during eclipse season. People go all timeline and portal crazy, right? But it's like, these are cycles. These are cycles. These are seeds we've planted. We planted seeds. We planted eclipse seeds seasons ago, years ago, decades ago that are coming to fruition and starting to make sense and the pieces are coming into place. And I have, there's no, there's no reason for me to think that I'm anything but victorious in this situation and that I can completely trust myself. I completely trust myself. So, you know, now it's like, it has taken me a little while to accept certain things excuse me, about myself. Um, and a lot of things have been obscured from me for a long time. I did plan it that way. I did. I planned it that way. I planned it that way. And it's part of my work and mission, you know? I put myself out there. I put myself in front. That's what I'm supposed to do. Whether it looks like a big front or not. I put my own self here. I put my own self into everything that I've ever done. My experiences that I've had. Like, I don't know. I, I'm like, oh, how can I... I have 700,000 fucking stories, you know? What do you want to know about? What are you interested in? What year do you want to know? Ask me a year. I'll tell you some stories. Um, you know, but I'm out here. And, um, and, and people do what they do. People do what they do. And I'm tough enough to fucking handle it. And, um, because I know I already won. <laughs> I already fucking won, you know? I know how I have to handle this whole, I know what I have to do. I know how I have to do it. Everything is going to be, I have to put on more fucking pants. I have on one pair of pants, but they're way too thin. I'm fucking freezing right now. Ah. And all my jeans are too big. Even the ones that used to be tight. All of them. I ate kind of a lot yesterday. Um, what did I eat? Yesterday I had, um, I was going to go and have, um, like a late lunch, early dinner at Canteen Creamy. But I got there and there were so many people in the fucking line. I couldn't believe how many people were in the line. I was like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this right now. And there was a really good song playing on the radio. <laughs> so I stayed in the car and I was like jamming. I was like, what station is this anyway? I don't even get this over in my area. Um, I did not end up eating at Canteen Creamy yesterday. I ended up going into Meet Huron's um, supermarket. I probably could have went over to the Mad Taco, but I wasn't in the mood for like waiting for food, actually. I just wanted to like pick something up. So what I did was I went into Meet Huron's and I got some like marinated like beet and onion salad, little container. And then, um, to these, like, this package that had two sticks of mozzarella cheese wrapped in prosciutto and an 85% cocoa chocolate bar. And that's what I got. And then, uh, and water. And then I stopped at the Dairy Cream in Montpelier, 
and got my creamy. And that's what you call soft serve ice cream in Vermont. You can't call it soft serve. If you come to Vermont in the summertime and you want to get an ice cream, like ice cream is like the kind that you scoop and creamy is the kind that comes out of the machine. Just like, I worked at two jobs where that was part of my work. Three. When I worked at Roller Magic, I worked in the snack bar and I worked on the rink and I would wear, when I worked on the, well, I had a referee shirt. So I was like kind of one of the people that skated around and just sort of like made sure everybody was not wearing hats or their shoelaces were tied and shit like that. And then uh, during birthday parties, I would put on the panda costume and do the hokey pokey on the roller skates with the kids. So that was fun. Um, and I also worked in the snack bar. That was a fun job. Um, especially because when I was little, I had a lot of birthday parties there. So I like, I loved that place. Um, <laughs> so funny. I just remember like crashing into the like area next to the DJ booth. Anywhere there was ever a DJ, like I was like right there. Like, do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Can you play this? Please play this. Can you play this one next? Oh my God. <laughs> And then what else were the other ones at Kwasi, Lake Kwasapog, um, amusement park. I worked in the snack bar at that place too. And then there was another place in Middlebury. I can't remember what it was called. Oh, and we had one at Fat Frank's too. Um, yeah, Fat Frank's was also in Waterbury with Roller Magic. Um, and it was like, I can't remember what the exit was, but it was like the South, I think it was the South Main Street, whatever the exit was to get off to go to like the, the Portuguese club and the, um, and Roller Magic eventually get down that way. But right off the exit, there was a restaurant, Fat Frank's, and it was a, basically it was like a hot dog restaurant. <laughs> it was my first job. <laughs> But it had this whole, like, 50s and 60s theme to it. And I was, like, really... I was in high school, and at that point in time, I was, like, really into the Beatles. Like, I had really gotten into the Beatles. And, uh... And, like, you know, the early stuff. So I listened to, like, a lot of, uh... If I fell in love with you. And, uh... She's got a ticket to ride. Um, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but they used to have car shows and stuff on Saturday nights, which was really cool. So that was pretty fun. And they had an ice cream machine there too. I didn't, I don't remember using it, but I remember not, the reason why I remember it is I remember cleaning it. And those things were like a fucking pain in the ass to clean, but you want to make sure you go to a place where they fucking clean the machines, you know, like, yeah. Cause they get fucking disgusting because I remember like I said, at Roller Magic, I didn't always work in this snack bar. Sometimes I worked on the floor. So, like, like you're tuning in to me to listen to me talk about ice cream machines. <laughs> I could probably talk all fucking day about creamy machines. So anyways, yes, that's how we got on the subject set. I went to Dairy Cream, and I got a small maple, which... I should have remembered I have to get the little people's <laughs> size because <laughs> we sometimes, all right, and this is like another weird thing, and I think this may, I don't actually, okay, <laughs> so usually you have like small, you know, like with the cone, right, so you'd have like the cone, and then you'd have like, okay, so like a small, and then a medium, and then a large, right? Okay, that's a big ice cream, but you go to dairy cream and the, the small is like this big, the medium is like this big, like literally like the large is like, what's wrong with you? Would you want to go home and have issues? <laughs> like, but anyways, I forgot how big the small was there and some, okay, so some places offer now what they call a little people size or a baby size. So there's like two different camps, like certain creamy places call it a baby and then small and then medium large. And then other places call it little people, small, medium, large. It's like weird, but I should always remember to get the little people when I go to the dairy cream on route two in Montpelier. So I got the maple and that was good. Like, um, it's good. 
it was really, really fucking good, but it was too big. And I was like, by the time I got to the cone, I was like, oh my God, this is too much. But you can't, I can't, you know, I mean, so that's what I had. And then I came back here and had, and then I was, uh, presented a plate. <laughs> yeah, they do take care of me. I deserve it. I deserve it. And, um, oh my God, the boundaries and, the, um, the, uh, the evolution of this is interesting and good. It's good. This, I, I'm, I'm, I'm well pleased with as this is working out and it was a little rough earlier this week. I really honestly didn't know. <laughs> some kind of shift definitely happened. And like I said, some like major healing is occurring and, I, you know, it's going to look like what I want it to look like. It's basically what it boils down to. And, um, and I have real, and I have real love for this man. So, um, and he has real love for me. And so, um, he's not going to stop me from doing anything. Like not anything. There's no thing that, that he's going to stop me from doing. I feel very confident in that. And in that way, and his, you know, then, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm feeling really good about it. Like I said, I was really not feeling so great. Um, and, uh, but you know what? I'm, I'm just, this is why I'm saying, like, I already know what I need to do. And like, I only wasn't feeling good about it because I started letting myself get caught up in other people's ideas and anxieties you know, and when other people say things, it comes out maybe in a way because they're them saying it. And so it has like a vibe and a feel to it that, um, you know, I can register in certain ways that I can allow to affect me. So I got to be a little bit more discerning, obviously, about who I'm listening to and what I allow them to say and just know when it's time for me to just walk out the room. And I do it all the time. I do it all the time. It's just time for me to go. I don't need to interrupt your shit. I don't need to make any excuses. It's just like, I honestly don't need to hear that. I don't do that all the time. I don't just walk out all the time, but you know what I'm saying? I hope you know what I'm saying because it's a really fucking good, effective fucking way to be in terms of owning your space, owning your time, owning your, what's coming into you. So... I'm feel like I said, I'm feeling really fucking good. And then yesterday also, and I think I left my book in the car. My book is still in the car. Is it? Melody, are you in here or did I leave you in the car? Um, I don't think I have her here. Yeah, no, she's in the car. All right. Um, oh my God, it's so cold. It's so fucking cold. <laughs> um, Oh, okay. So yesterday I went to the river, the brook, right? Where I go. And I found like, okay, this is only some of them. I found like all these garnets in the river. Like these are, these are, these are raw, these are raw gems. These are raw garnet gems. that I found in the river. Okay. And some of them are like a little more round because they've been in the river, you know, but some of them, you can still see like the, um, the shape, how it, you see. So they're little, but they're still big. They're still pretty big. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these. I had this idea for some of the, like the bigger ones I might, I can probably sell. Some of them I want to keep, maybe one of the bigger ones, if I find a place where I can sell. Like this one is a nice one too. It just needs to be polished. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm gonna, I need to get a rock tumbler and, um, they're not very expensive, but I really and honestly don't have a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> so I, um, 
If you wanted to make a donation to help me get a rock tumbler so that I could like actually, because these are amazing. And um, if you send me a donation, I'll send you some of these. How about that? I'll send you some of these little ones. I wanted to make a rattle with them. I really wanted to make a rattle with them. Or, or not. You can tell me if you, want them, if you want some or not. But even just a few bucks to my PayPal. Oh, no, come back. That was a big one. Um, <clears throat> even just a few bucks to my PayPal, I would like so appreciate that getting me to that point because, um, this is something that like, I really, I really enjoy like so much actually, like, I feel like every time I go with the intention of finding rocks, the, the earth gives me what I need. <clears throat> the earth gives me exactly what I need. And, um, and garnets are a really powerful protection and healing stones that are an important, have always been an important part of the warrior's fucking shield, you know? And, um, <sighs> I was thinking about... I was thinking about um, making a rattle with the little ones. I'm so excited. These stones that I got and the potential I had in this one, I was like, wow. I mean, look, it's just like a little broken piece of rock, but like there's something about those sparkly things. It's different than mica. I don't know what it is. If it is mica, then it's a different kind of mica. The way it sits in there. It's just so fascinating to me. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, let me see. Okay, look. Let me show you. And this isn't really the best example, actually. Oh, that was a nice piece right there. This one, maybe? Okay. This is a piece of... This is a piece of mica schist. Okay. And it has garnets in it. So those little dark spots are. And you can see here, this one, the little dark spots are garnets. Okay? I have bigger ones outside. So you can see that, like, what happens is they form in here. But this is, like, actually pretty soft material. The schist is pretty soft. It's very, it's mica, so it's very flaky, you know? And as it gets, you know stirred up in the water bounces up against other rocks and stuff as the tide you know as not as the tide as the you know as the river's flowing and whatnot um the the uh rubies be um, rubies the garnets become dislodged and then they're just there in the river you know so if you i mean you really gotta like you really have to like sit and take your time and just like look you know you just have to like look and it's so meditative to me and then to just like concentrate on a small space and can like just I mean literally I'm telling you that all of these garnets came from this area between these two rocks that was like like th like this big it it was not a very big area at all and then there was like another spot where if I just was if I stayed positioned in the same place, but I turned a little bit, there was some more in that area. I went to three different spots on that same part of the brook, and I didn't find garnets the way that I found them in that one spot, which I felt drawn to. So that's a very meditative activity, and if you have the opportunity to go someplace oh here's a here's one this is a good one to show you because you can see how it came out all right look all right so you see these these are the garnets right these are the garnets and then you can see here do you see that little hole right here you see you see that there was a garnet in there. So. That's. That was. This was a better one to show you. Okay now if I could just put this fucking thing back in here. 
oh yes, that is my very favorite, the super hit, and the Satya super hit. That's my jam. That's my jam. I like the Geek Go Vend too, but it's hard to find. That's my favorite. Actual, my, my actual favorite. Which I've only ever gotten when you buy like the big, there's like a big thing. <laughs> like, you're like, hey, it, it, it's, it's like a whole, you know, there's all these little boxes with all the different kinds of satya. And do you know what I'm talking about? Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to go. I think it's been 25 minutes. Holy fuck. You don't have this much time in your day for me, do you? Oh, you must have. You're still here. But anyhow, um, I'm going to be doing some more research. At some point later on today, I'm going to do another video that shows some of the other rocks that I got yesterday because I didn't even make it through the basket yet. That was just like what I showed on that other video. I just love it. I just fucking love it. And... um you know, it's like the season now where like, you know, I am an artist and I, and I do enjoy making art very much, but I'm also very mutable and I got to take advantage of the seasons, you know, and, uh, I can make art all winter if I want to, but I can't go, I can't go barefoot and brownie my way into the brook in November or October necessarily. You know, so I have like a limited window of opportunity here and, uh, and I intend to make the most of it. I always do. I always do. So honestly, have an awesome day. Like go out there and find some fucking garnets. Like, like, like look fucking close at shit. Like really fucking take a second to like actually like consider what you're looking at because you're going to find what looks like just a fucking bunch of rocks is like some of the most powerful gemstones on the fucking planet. And take that metaphor and make it work for your situation, okay? I'm not saying everybody's, because not everybody lives in a place where there's gemstones like this in the river. Like, near, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> Always fucking over explaining myself. Not always. Sometimes I under-explain myself. That's probably worse. It might be worse. Maybe that's why I over-explain sometimes. But anyhow, this day is going to be fucking amazing. Because this day is already amazing. And um, it's getting a little bit warmer. And it's going to get a lot warmer. And we're going to find we're gonna find more garnets. More garnets, right? Okay, see ya.